are on the road, rented another car, on the road driving to our new apartment just outside of Naples, and look at what we're seeing right now. It's just mountains everywhere. It's such a beautiful drive. It's about two and a half hours, and so far it's been nothing but these beautiful mountains. And some of them are like still snow-capped, just huge. It's so beautiful. And not expected. What do you think, Ebra? <laughs> Anna, you like the mountains? Jessica's very excited. <laughs> All right, so we made it to, what's this little town called? Cobera? Cobera. Cobera? I don't know, it's just outside of Naples. We wanted to stop between uh, where we were in Tivoli and here. So we stopped in Naples to try and get some pizza. That was the worst decision ever. Driving in that city was my definition of hell. It was insane. People just running everywhere, scooters everywhere. It made Asia look like a retirement home. It was crazy. And plus the car I'm driving that we rented is stick. So, and I haven't driven stick in like 10 years. So combine all that together and it was just a nightmare. This little town is just this sleepy little town. Just had a, it just had a bike race, so it's a little bit busy, but we're right across from a church, and I'll just show you what this little place looks like. We're here for a month, so looking forward to it. The guy who rented us this place, Francesco, is the sweetest man. He came and just brought us lemons and tomatoes from his garden. He's the best. This is overlooking the church. This is the family room. This is one bedroom. This is our terrace. There's the lemon tree. This is our backyard. What's happening here? They do a blessing of the olive tree with, and they can bring this. This is from his wife, Angela. So tomorrow we have to go to church? <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Now I'm in love. This happened. <laughs> You're in love with Francesco or Italy? I'm in love with Francesco. Hey! <laughs> he, looks like so my, he looks like my Uncle Joe. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like every Italian man you've ever seen. He's like, last one, I swear. Yeah. Aw, that was so nice. Jessica loves nice people. I do. When they're really <laughs> kind like that, it just melts my heart. They don't have to be. So tomorrow, I guess we're going to church for the blessing of the olive tree. So from here, we're like half an hour to the Amalfi Coast, 20 minutes to Naples. So we're gonna probably drive down. Oh yeah, we're right at Pompeii's doorstep. So driving in, we were like right beside Mount Vesuvius. And if that thing goes off, we're toast here. <laughs> from here, we'll be going to Naples. Here, we'll be going to Sorrento and probably taking a ferry from Sorrento to Positano because driving in the Amalfi Coast is supposedly worse than Naples. There's only one road to lining the coast and it's packed. So, should be some good content coming up and lots of exciting stuff for us. Good day. So we're in Naples, we just dropped off our rental car and we're going to pick up another rental car. Right around the corner here is Pizzeria de Michelle. Huge lineup and I'm sorry, I just don't wait in huge lines for food. So we just went around the corner and we are at Frita da Pizzeria or Pizzeria de Frita? Pizzeria de Frita. Pizzeria de Michelle is famous from Eat, Pray, Love. I'm in love. I'm having a relationship with my pizza. I think that's the only reason it was famous because it never was famous before that. And it's been around since like 1870. So to see people line up for hours to try and get a uh, Neapolitan pizza when you're in a place that serves pizza pretty much the same everywhere, just go somewhere else. To start, mixed fried platter, 
So that's a arancini. Rice. That one looks like spaghetti fried. How is it? <laughs> How is it? Good? <laughs> you like that one? You don't like the zucchini one? This one's really good. Right. This one's potato. Spaghetti cream sauce with peas. Really good. This tastes like fried. Um, I already tasted it. That's eggplant. Is it eggplant or zucchini? The one that he likes was eggplant. Just having flashbacks of my childhood right now. I haven't had this since I was your age. Of course she is. Here, Beanie, try a bite of this one. The boys are eating them all. You better hurry up. They're stealing all your food. These are really good. My nonna used to make those all the time. I it. Mine's the most beautiful by far. <laughs> Love the mortadella. Ricotta cream, mortadella, and pistachio. Is it good? <laughs> okay guys, I just found out a crazy secret. So if you are at this Pizzeria de Michelle, and you see a big line. You come over here. And it just a, a big sign says Aperol Spritz. So you'll see it. And you tell them, the waiter, that you want a pizza from uh, Pizzeria de Michelle. The guy just came over with like nine pizza boxes. So they order for you and they must know the owners or, the, or they're friends with them. And then they bring the pizza over to this Aperol Spritz restaurant. And then you get a pizza without waiting in line which we would have known. All right, so we are done. Uh, pizza Frita 1947. How much was it all? A bottle of wine, three waters, and five pizzas. It was 62 euro. Not bad. So we are right back to where we were last time, right outside of Pizzeria de Michelle. And the Pizza Frita, where we ate our pizza last time, but this time we're smart. We're coming to this Aperol Spritz bar, and we're asking them if we can get a pizza, and they're going to get it for us, rather than waiting in the huge line. So, today's goal is to try three of the best rated pizzas. This, what are you doing? What are you doing? Mama, he has to go pee, but Mama won't let me take him to the bathroom across the street. You need to pee? I told him just to wait. He does a guy in there. <laughs> and he said, don't open the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no one, okay. come on, you Go, go across the street. Okay. Go. Stop it. Watch. Go run right across the street. <laughs> I think you can. What do you want to do? Oh my god. You want pizza? I love pizza. Yeah. Four pizzas that they serve. It's only four different pizzas on the menu. And they're five dollars each. So I would imagine that these guys are about to charge us more than five dollars, five euros each, but we'll see. That's how they serve your wet pizza. <laughs> Just give it a second. Is it really want to eat? saucy or soggy? Yes. <laughs> it's soggy. Okay, don't eat it. You don't like it? Uh, no. Okay, don't eat it. Perfect. You don't want it ever? So Maybe the next one's for you. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants New York pizza. What's the problem with the pizza? It's soggy. It's soggy. Look at it. It's, it's, it's tiny. tiny. It's tiny. He's not lying. It's a big, so soupy, soggy mess. Not gonna lie. So we're gonna give it a try. She's runny. Here's what you do. You fold this in. The cheese is really good. The sauce is really good. It's got a very strong bitter flavor from the burnt bottom. Probably a little bit more char than I would like. But all together, I'd say it's a good pizza. Let's we'll see how the other ones compare. Okay, who makes better pizza? This place or Dad? This place. This place. Really? Yeah. Daddy makes the best. That's hot. 
Regular. Yeah, I would pick that. Dad. I like being the guy behind the camera because then people just lie to me. For that total, two Aperol spritz, two espressos, and two uh, lemon soda for the kids, and a pizza, 33 euros. Ciao. Thank you. So, they only charge you 50 cents more if you sit here. $5 at uh, the pizza place and $5.50 here if you sit across the street and drink it. Sorbillo. Still don't know what it's called. Packed. Full of people. Serving 130. We're number 152. You guys are just cranking out 10 pizzas at a time. Two Naples and Scudetto. Forza Napoli. So there's lots of kids here. Seems like they're all at school. All getting their lunch. So we'll see which one's better. Margarita pizza, the same as before. So we'll see how it compares. Oh dear. Take a bite. Did you have to buy that to just use the washroom? No, but I wanted it. I saw it. You should see the desserts that they have in there. How's that, that right? Oh, yeah. Mm. Is this just uh, one of those bomb bombs? You should go in there go after and see their desserts. They are really good. All right, we're at 142. Ten more pizzas to go. Sorry, YouTube. Social media took, uh, took over. No. Did you go, did you do a bunch of dancing competitions? Mm. Mm. I want it. I want it. Oh, huh. No. You said. It's better. Are you going to stop talking like that? Stop doing that. What are you doing? Are you taking well, all the cheese? I'm taking the cheese. <laughs> You're taking all the cheese. Put that in your mouth before it drops. Bite it. There. Hey, Mama. I'm good. Okay, give Hannah another bite. That cheese works. Oh look, look at the setting in which we're eating here. <laughs> Just over some underwear mannequins. <laughs> Sorbillo. Thank you. Guess the win. So far. So we are walking to the next pizza place, 50 Calo, it's called. We opted to walk because I'm a bit terrified of driving here. So we figured we've already found one parking spot. Better just walk there. All right, 50 Calo. He is very angry, our server. <laughs> Not impressed at all that we ordered only one pizza. It looks very good. The menu looks awesome, but we're gonna stick to a margarita pizza, but there's awesome ones. Okay, for looks, I'd say this one's looking the best. It's also very wet and sloppy. Similar to the first one. So I'm going to do the full. Mm -hmm. So similar to Pizza Ready in Michelle. It's got a lot of char on the bottom. The sauce tastes very similar, and the cheese tastes very similar. I think it's very similar. To the last one? To the first one. The winner is... Two. Three. Two and three are tied for me. Three. Three. Dad, what do you think? Number two. Because... I don't know. <laughs> Naples, the birthplace of pizza. But it is also an acquired taste of pizza, I believe. A lot of people think New York pizza is the best. Some people say Napoli, the birthplace of pizza. Of course, it's the best. But I th really do think that people see this on social media 
and they're like, I'm in Naples, it is the best pizza. But I'll be honest with everybody, it is not. It is not the best pizza. I'm sure everybody would say different that there's nothing that can compare to this pizza or there's nothing even close to this in the United States or Canada or anywhere in the world. It's, this is like the number one because San Marzano tomatoes come from the base of Mount Vesuvius, so they're the best. It's all bullshit. <laughs> it's good pizza, but it is Neapolitan style pizza. And if you like Neapolitan pizza, you will have good pizza any of the pizza places you go in Naples. Is it the best pizza in the world? For me and this family, no. It is not the best pizza. I would say Roman pizza was way better than Neapolitan pizza. Look, I don't think it ought to be blasphemy. Don't kill me. Don't kill me in the comments. Don't hate us. It's just my style. It's just what I like better. I like a little bit of texture, a little bit of crunch. And I think Rome pizza had, had that. And so as a blasphemer, you are to be stoned to death. All right, we're full of pizza. Going for a stroll. It's a little bit chilly. But on the summer, this would be gorgeous. Got these hills filled with these multicolored buildings. The ocean, the smell of like fresh sea down here. Gorgeous big yachts sitting there. Mount Vesuvius right there. My screaming children, right there. People playing soccer over here. It's a nice time. What the hell are you doing? Shaking your booty? That's disgusting. <laughs> You're shaking your booty. I saw you. I caught you. I caught you. I caught you. You got your booty on YouTube. Everett! I'm trying to kick. No! no.